Hey guys, so as you can see I'm back out again. I'm doing another solo overnighter. Really pumped to be out here. Really looking forward to it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, so this is the area I've chosen. Uh, it's not like ideal, ideal, but it's good enough. Not the flattest, it slopes down a bit behind me. But um, yeah, I'll sleep with my head up here and probably have the fire where the, somewhere where the camera is. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, there's like sticks and garbage all over the place. So I'm gonna get my gloves out and we're gonna clean it all up. So, area is mainly cleared out. Still a few bits and bobs on the ground. But I'll um, sort those out as I come across them. There's quite a few like rotten bits of um, sticks around, like that. But, I've um, knocked down most of them. Like, these are all live trees now. So, real good there. I'll accept that one. I'll have to take that one down. There yeah, don't think we're expecting high winds, so shouldn't really be a problem, but better safe than sorry. So yeah, so basically now I just want to get my tarp set up and kind of just get camp established so that I can go start gathering firewood. So yeah, let's get to it. Got this pole for my tarp. Um, I'm just going to shave down one of the ends for it to fit over the tarp. Because um, I'll show you. I built. I've done this tarp set up before. It's one of my favourites. So there'll just be this pole here, like a so, and this will come out, and then pick the back out. It makes like a little tent almost but still open so yeah I like the setup and yeah so the one we're going with for tonight
Alright guys, so I've got the tarp shelves to set up. Pretty sturdy. Should do me well for the night. Um, if I just go up the hill, there's a whole heap of moss. Like the whole ground is moss. Like it's deep. I mean, I'll take the camera up and show you guys. But um, I think I'm going to grab some of that and bring it down just to put down. Because I only have my um, thin roll mat thingy that goes in the back of my pack. So um, yeah, I might bring some moss down just to put on the ground. Just an extra layer, yeah. So let's do that. Alright guys, so as you can see, we're in a whole load of moss. Like this stuff sinks down. There's a lot of it. So I'm gonna grab some of this and put it under my roll mat because it's pretty wet. I'd say that looks pretty comfy. Nice moss bed. Alright guys, so I just found a whole bunch of wood. Um, I was actually trying to just find the creek or stream that runs down there, I can hear it, so just trying to find that, but came across a good bunch of wood. A bunch of good wood, sorry. Um, it's all Kanuka or Manuka, one or the other. Nice hardwood. Um, and yeah, I also found a real nice big, like uh, thicker than this, um, piece of Manuka as well, Kanuka, whatever it is, um, back down there. So I'll take the take the camera and we'll go get it. This is where I grabbed that piece of. Um, Tanuka from. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. It's actually Manuka. The only difference between Kanuka and Manuka is, well, there's not a lot, but there's a couple of small differences. But the main one, or the one that I use to identify them, is the leaves. So Kanuka has more rounded and not as pointy leaves, and Manuka has, <clears throat> sorry, pointy leaves. So these are pointy and like kind of hurt when I grab them. So um. Pretty sure it's Manuka, but they both work the same, they're both good hardwoods, just slight variances. Uh, you guys can probably hear the stream, oh, I'm just going over to it now. Yeah, just runs down there. Uh, so that's piece of Manuka is right here. Nice big piece, dead, there's no leaves on it. So we're going to take it down. Alright guys, so not going to come down easily, but I've got the tracker. Just going to start hacking into it.
hardwood. She's not held on by a lot. So she's caught up in the trees. So um yeah, can I have to hack it down? She's off. Now I just gotta try get it back to camp. So I still gotta take the uh, big piece of wood that I just got up, but um, just while I'm down here, there's all this like dead. I think it's cutty grass. Um, so yeah, I'm just grabbing a whole bunch. Probably use that as my uh, tinder for filling the steel later. Anyway, we're just grabbing a whole bunch, and it's going in the cargo pocket. Um, so they'll hopefully dry out. It's pretty dry, but some of it's a tad wettish, but um, yeah, that'll go Good for my tinder tonight and yeah, it'll dry out in that pocket Still got a good wee while till I need a fire, so Gotta get this guy up up there now Break time guys, bit weary, need a drink and something to eat, so just chill here for a bit. So yeah, pretty happy with um, the amount of firewood I collected, yeah. No damage to the tracker, and that was hard wood, she needs a sharpen though, I'll do that later or soon. Probably before I chop firewood would be a good idea. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, yeah, and if you got anything to say or just leave it down below, I'm happy to read them. Always interested to see what others have to say. My moss bed's looking pretty comfy. And uh, this pad I'm sitting on right now is my folding pad. It um, actually makes up like the frame of my pack. Uh, that pack there doesn't actually have a frame It's got a bit of padding down the bottom for like the lower back, but then this pad Makes up the rest of it makes it rigid and yeah, it's actually not too bad Anyway, I'll get back with you guys soon
So I decided I wanted a fly reflector, really just to keep the wind out, not really to reflect the heat. I won't need to reflect heat tonight. I'm, I'll be fine with just my sleeping bag. But yeah, it was mainly just to block the wind because it comes down the, down the slope and um, yeah, didn't have any rocks or anything around here. So just built this to give me a little area to have a fire. But these are all like so soaking and rotten logs. So um, yeah, they shouldn't burn for a while. All right, so usually I'd like bind these up, bring them all together, but I don't think I really need to. These are in the ground pretty good. I've just been using my hatchet to hammer them in. Um, yeah. And they're in there pretty solid. So I don't think I will bother binding it up. Yeah. Leave it as is. Alright guys, so I'm just going through and sorting out all of my um, smaller bits of wood, all the branches and stuff, just snapping them down and sorting them out into piles of kind of like um, pencil lead, pencil and thumb thickness, roughly. Um, but yeah, so just sorting out all this little stuff first and then I'll get started on the big stuff. This stuff's pretty dry. Even though we've had rain for a couple of days, not today, well not really today. A few drops in here coming over here. But um uh yeah we have had rain these past couple of days. So um stuff is a bit damp but this ain't too bad actually, which is good. When you can't do it like that, stick it in a tree. It's a bit harder when it gets a bit smaller. No, nah. don't have to chop that one. Alright guys, so that's some of the fire prep done. Got our pencil lead, pencil, thumb thickness, and then slightly bigger bits that I'll probably um, try baton down. But now, we gotta get this big guy done. Hey, that was convenient. So I was just trying to split the branches and there was a bit of a check running down it. So um, 
it's actually split it completely in half for me. So um, yeah, you can see, like there's this wet bit here, this wet mushy bit, which I'll probably just chop off and not use, but the rest is bone dry. That is, that is some good firewood. So you're really happy with that? Let's get cracking. All right guys, so I'm just starting to process down some of the big stuff here. Uh, I'm just snapping it in the fork here. Like a so. Oh, no. There we go. So yeah, just snapping it in the fork. Try to break it down a bit into more manageable chunks. This is all my wood. As you can see, it's still needing to be split down. Um, yeah, a couple of wet pieces like this. Like, it's all right on that side, so I'll like, turn it down and then maybe add that on later. But um, yeah, so I just gotta get processing. Got quite a bit to do. But um, yeah, I'll just get. Get on with it. Ah, choice. Alright guys, so I've got, got it all sawn up, now I've just got to split it down, uh, yeah so I've got the tracker, I'm just going to start splitting it down. Split it down, yep yeah, she's pretty good. I'm not going to split too much of it down small, I'll mainly keep it um, biggish because i got a whole heap of uh, sticks and stuff that I can use. So yeah. There's a nice check in the wood, so yeah we'll just follow that. 
Beauty. Oh, that's lovely. a bit tougher but you know nothing the old tracker can't handle Thing I like about like a tracker is you can use it like a hatchet as well. Just split the wood. It's pretty fun. It's just me having fun. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see behind me. Got all my wood prep done. I've kind of broken it up. So I've got, like I said before, the um, pencil lead, pencil, and thumb. And now I've got all my split wood and um, just other hardwood and stuff. Stuff like this is a bit, a bit too big for thumb and stuff, but um, not really worth splitting down. So I just burn a hole. Um, but then in this pile down here, I kind of just got some of the scungy bits with all that um, dank stuff on them. So they'll burn because it's only like it's only parts of them um, that are like scungy like that. So once the fire's going and everything, they'll burn. But uh, then down here, I've just got a bunch of real nice pieces, nice and straight and stuff for um, just making some feather sticks with, which I will do sooner or later. But um, yeah, that's my wood prep done. So now. Not really much else for me to do. I'm just gonna chill out, have a snack and water and stuff, and then wait till, I don't know, probably, it's four o'clock now, so, I don't know when I light a fire. I'll light it at some stage, when I feel like it. Cool guys, catch up with you soon. I wanna get my sleeping bag out, cause it's down, and I wanted to get some loft. For tonight, so uh, I'm just gonna get this down so that it's not on the damp, wet moss, and uh, yeah, then get the sleeping bag out. Alright guys, so I'm going to get the fire lit now. I'm using flint and steel today, uh, again, because I'm enjoying it. So, got that um, grassy stuff that we gathered earlier, and it's just been in my pocket the whole time. So, got a little bit more here. I'm just going to lay that down on here, to get these out of the way. Now I'm going to need a brace. Got some kills as well to help get the fire going. Alright, so we've got our fun and steel. I do have some jute in here, but I won't use it unless um, 
I need to. We'll get our rock. Striker. A bit, a bit of chalk off. I don't know if this tinder is going to be the best, but give it a crack. There we go. Second strike. Okay, we'll just fold it over. Rest it in there. So we'll get our curls here. Yeah, I don't know, it might just be the tinder. But we'll grab another piece of charcoal. There we go. Put that in there. Ah, alright, fail again. Okay, we're gonna ditch that tender. That's useless. Gonna ditch that. That is trash. Absolutely rubbish. Okay. I'm gonna try it with just these feather sticks I've got here. And another piece of char cloth. Nope. Yep, there we go, caught. Okay, let's stick that in there. Nope, she is not liking that. And I don't know why. But I'm just going to grab a couple of extra little bits of charcoal and throw them in, in the pile of feather sticks. Like a so. And then grab some charcoal. Where's my... Yeah, I don't know. It is just not working for me, guys. There we go. Jeez. Just keep on building her up. Oh, that's smoky. Wow. Hey, okay. get bigger fuel on there because that'll burn quick. Should have moved it back a bit. Try to do that now. Bigger fuel on there. All of the moss on the um, fire reflector there is burning. I don't think it's going to do anything because those logs are pretty damp. Alright guys, just got the fire cranking in. 
just uh, mainly the thumb size stuff at the moment. I'll build her up and get some coals. I don't need coals because I'm using a little pan to cook my steak. But um, yeah. We'll get her established so she's pretty well going good by the time I want to cook. But um, yeah, I kind of just used all my uh, pencil and uh, pencil lead sized fuel straight away. I used all of it. I should have saved a bit for the morning, but uh, that's right. I'll just make some feather sticks or something and we'll be right. I got a steak for dinner. Um, but one thing I realized as I was driving over here and it was too late to turn back, I forgot my salt and pepper, which is a bugger because I'm having eggs in the morning. So, um, yeah, no salt and pepper for them either. I have, uh, I've got cheese and butter, but uh, salt and pepper is a no go. Alright, so, got my steak here, it was frozen when I left, and now it's nice and, yeah, nice and, alright, and that's going to fit perfectly in there. Cool, so let's get the pan on to heat up. Flint and steel didn't go completely to plan, but uh, that's alright. You know, I still got it going, and didn't have to use any jute twine or anything, so, um, so that was a win still but now that that tinder i had was just trash i don't know what it was maybe it wasn't broken up enough or um it was just a bit damp or something i don't know right no salt and pepper or seasoning or anything i'm gonna throw the old steak in I got in a bit chilly earlier, and uh, so I chucked on a couple extra layers, like thermals and stuff. But it's in by this fire now, pretty warm. And the midges are coming out. I haven't seen them all day, and there's just a swarm of them right here. But the smoke will keep them away, so stop them from biting and stuff, but that's all good. Just waiting for my steak to cook. And yeah, a bit bummed about the salt and pepper, but you know. What can you do? Alright guys, so the steak is done. We're gonna take her off now and let her rest for a wee bit. There she is. Just gonna bring this fire back to the middle. I'll leave it. Oh that smells good that steak. I'll just leave I'm just gonna leave the fire. Um, and then build it back up after dinner. Uh, I'll enjoy my dinner. And then just sit by the fire all night because I don't have anything else to do. I usually bring a book when I'm camping like this. Um, just to read at night and stuff. But I forgot one this time along with the salt and pepper. That's right. I can, I'm sure I can cope just watching the fire. No, nah, it'll be good. Oh, I'll keep drinking plenty of water. I finished my canteen and um, get onto this pole. There's a stream, so I always get more if I need to. But yeah, you just gotta keep hydrated. It's probably the main thing out here. All right, I'll get back with you when my steak's ready. All right, guys. So. Steaks ready, time for me to eat. Looking forward to this. I've just been lying here and it smells so good. But I'm um, yeah, gonna tuck in now. 
Now I like my steak medium rare, but uh, it's it's on the cusp, on the cusp, almost too done, too well done. But a bit of rareness there. Yeah, no, nah, she's pretty pretty darn close to being overdone. But that's right. I'm sure, it will still taste good. And I'm really butchering this up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so like I said, a bit rarer. Would have been uh, nice, but you know, just practice. Got to cook more steaks, I guess. Hi guys, I haven't turned the camera on for a while. I've just been lying here chilling and thinking and just watching the fire. It's been pretty good. The fire's pretty much out now. I'm gonna crawl into my sleeping bag and hit the hay soon. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, so as you can see there were no embers in the fire pit from last night. We did get a sprinkling of rain during the night, so uh, yeah, probably that probably played a part, but that's alright. i just done a little bit of fire prep, just split up um, a couple of bits of the hardwood that I had left and uh, made some curlies and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got, got this tin full of fatwood shavings that I shaved up, so just going to use that to get the fire going, quick and easy, no fuss, no hassle, oh, and spill it everywhere while I'm at it. Oh, and then put those all over. Okay, got the tin. Just gonna dump it all in there. Cool. Choice. Alright guys, so fire's going good. I think I'm gonna make a little pot hanger. Um, yeah, do that, but I gotta just wanna carve a little notch in here so that my pot has somewhere to sit.
got butter, cheese and eggs for this morning. Now, also got a hot chocolate. Empty the whole thing in there. Alright guys, so while I'm waiting for the water to boil, get that out of the way, uh, I'm going to make my eggs up. So, basically just going to chuck in some, is this butter or cheese? It's cheese. Alright, going to chuck in some butter. And then got the eggs. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cheese as well. Cool. Is that down cracked? Nope, we're all good. That was a bit of a disaster. I'm really ballsing that up. Oh no, I got a piece of shell in there. I have to get it out. Wow, I really made a mess of that. There we go. Cool. Just gonna throw some more cheese in there. Mmm, appetizing. Let's check on how the water's doing. Oh yeah, we're almost there, so I think I'll throw the eggs on now. There's bubbles in the bottom there. So, let's get those eggs in there. The lid back on. I'm just starting to pack up my stuff while I wait for my eggs to cook. Um, yeah, might as well make use of my time. If I can figure out how this folds back up. There we go. Fire's dying down guys, so I'm gonna see if these eggs are ready. If not, I'll just chuck them on the coals. Buddy, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm calling those done. Whew. It is warm by that fire. I need all my stuff, I can't read. about this boils my water for my hot chocolate at the same time which is absolutely awesome what's the time guys the time is 9.25 I don't think I woke up well, I woke up a couple of times in the night but I think I didn't wake up like fully properly 
until about 7.30 and then was just dozed until about 8 I think. Oh yeah, these eggs are good. Mmm. Oh, and that cheese. Salt and pepper would have been good, but you know. I should have to remember it for next time. I love eggs cooked like this. They're so good. This moss is awesome for just cleaning out my pot. I'm just grabbing a clump of it and just using it as like a, just a scrubber. Just clean it out. It leaves a bunch of gunk in there, but that's easy to get out with water. Just give it a rinse. But this gets it rid of all the grime and stuff. So yeah, pretty good. Alright guys, so I've just come down to the stream here, my bottles are there to fill up, um, just to put the fire around and stuff, but it's a pretty steep drop, you can see here on my feet, and there's like a bank and then the creek, so gonna have to try and just reach down there, I'm gonna give it a shot, because I need the water to put out my fire. Yes, success. Alright guys, so the fire's still sizzling away a bit, still a bit of heat on there, so I'm going to go fill up my containers again and put another load of water on it. My moss bag was pretty comfy guys, as you can see it's com compressed quite a bit, but um, with my roll mat thing on top of it, keep like the damp, because this moss is pretty damp, kept all the dampness out, but this, yeah, this is pretty good, um, yeah, I wasn't uncomfortable at all, so yeah, if I was going to like stay here another night, I'd just grab another layer of moss and put it on and just keep building it up, but yeah, so, got to get rid of this now. I'll just spread it round and it'll, it'll grow back into the ground and stuff, so 
Yes. Alright guys, so that just about concludes the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.